my salams from Pakistan, where most of the country today is submerged in water due to continuous torrential rainfall. This is architect Yasmin Lari, and this is an appeal on behalf of Interbao Pakistan, which is led by architect Murad Jamil as chairman, architect Khadija Jamal as vice chair, Shainaz Ramzi is honorary secretary, Hadi Rizvi as honorary treasurer, and other eminent founder members, architect Asad Ayyeh Khan, architect planner Sadia Fazli, and architect Tariq Kaiser. In view of enormous response by so many people within and outside the country, Chairman Murad Jamil has decided to form a fl flood relief committee to provide continuing support to the executive committee for Interbao Pakistan shelter program. As all of us are keen on ensuring transparency, all transactions will be posted regularly on social media platforms. Funds will be sought at Rs 25,000 per unit, which will cover the cost of the bamboo prefabricated structure log or lari octagreen and temporary arrangement with reed matting walls and roof cover, as well as carpets to different areas of Sindh. After the rains, the same structure can be dismantled and placed on a permanent place on, uh, on lime concrete foundations and entire structure finished with earth lime plaster on walls and thatching on roof. Uh, we're providing the uh, links to uh, uh, Yasmin Lari Zero Carbon Channel for various video tutorials which will show clearly uh, step by step as to how uh, these, uh, the finishing can be carried out. I will now show you how these structures are constructed, first as a temporary quick structure and later as permanent uh, one, uh, one room house. So uh, bear with me and we'll be, I'll be sharing uh, animated uh, graphics with you to be able to explain as to how the whole thing will be put together. As I said, uh, I would like to now explain how we can use the prefabricated Lari uh, Octagreen shelter uh, or the log uh, for uh, emergency uh, uh, housing uh, so that people are protected from rain. And later on, the same units that are prefabricated panels for walls and for roof can be dismantled, can be taken off. And wherever people shift, as, as soon as the lands become dry, people go back to their places or wherever they want to build their permanent house, uh, they will then follow um, the second option that I will be giving. But, uh, and that will make them a permanent structure. But let's start with first with the emergency uh, shelter, which will provide them protection from rain. So this is, um, if you see uh, now in our, in our video, uh, this is what it looks like uh, as to what it is. And it has uh, a room, uh, creates a room of 12 foot by 12 foot diameter or an octagon shape so it's quite roomy and it can accommodate quite a few people and what i know is that everybody should be able to uh, have at least one room that is safe in every possible way so you start by seeing that you create a circle which is uh, six foot inch one inches in, di uh, in uh, uh, with radius so that it will give you a 12 foot two inch center line and then uh, the, that is inscribed on the on the floor, wherever it is. Then you divide the whole thing into eight equal sections uh, of five foot length, uh, so that you get the corners for the uh, prefabricated panel. And then at each corner of the uh, a three inches by three inches square uh, will be uh, will be drawn, and then you dig it six inches deep. Uh, it has to be a small one because what we need is that there are. Uh, rods in each of the uh, the posts of the panels that have to be that have to go into the ground and then you can ground it anything it doesn't matter and then the prefabricated panels that are there they are erected on those pockets so the rods are going into each pocket and once the panels are erected as you can see they are put together but what you do them now here we will first now only tie them with ropes and you can see on the right how the different rope tying is uh, has been done that is to see make sure that all the panels are held in place now they're securely fixed to the ground and now they are securely fixed to each other which is very important now uh, once they are uh, uh, that is done then we see to it that we uh, start putting our uh, the three knots at each joint as as, uh, as as been shown and that we are able to then um, 
you know, made the whole structure quite secure. Then uh, you take a 12 foot 6 inches long bamboo at the center of the structure for installation of the roof. And uh, this can be put up, this can be made ready, and then it can be any kind of stick or a bamboo which has to be this tall. Then what we do is that, you know, we open up the umbrella like roof that is prefabricated and uh, we tie it with the, with the prefabricated uh, wall panels with a steel rod and on each one of them. And that, that is shown in the videos that we will be able to uh, send you the link for. And then this is the way that you start, you have fixed the roof now and then to make it secure and strong you start putting the purlins that are smaller size uh, pieces that will be available and they'll be put up uh, and uh, basically nailed to the to the joists. Now once that has been done, uh, you start putting the, the, the matting that will come with the whole uh, structure. Uh, it has to be rolled out and just secured with nailing onto each of the panels. Once that is done then have the walls that are done and once the walls are complete you have to make sure that you leave the space for the door and the space for the window so that you get the ventilation that is needed and then uh, the roof then also uh, will now carry matting uh, we'll try to see uh, it's better if we can put some plastic below that so that it makes it absolutely waterproof and once you've done that you've got a, an emergency shelter which is secure and safe and uh, can be reused as permanent structure so uh, um, I think what we have to now see is that wherever there are people, wherever there are uh, people on high ground, if there's, uh, there are people on ground which has only little water, then we should start seeing how we can provide them with these safe and secure uh, temporary or emergency shelters. Uh, they're not temporary, actually they're quite strong, but they are emergency shelters. And this can be done anywhere where you can take them on a high ground, where they have, they've moved to a bun or any other place, because this can all be dismantled and taken wherever they go next. So nothing is wasted here. Every part of it will be reused. So uh, my request is that we start with this process. Uh, and uh, as I said, uh, 25,000 will uh, make this whole thing uh, and uh, uh, people will can do it themselves and the more uh, we can empower people, train them, let them do it, build up their capacity, the more this work can be done. And then later on, I think, if there are large numbers of people, we can start training programs for them right there and then so that there's no transportation, people can just start learning and, and uh, making these uh, themselves. So every 50 household should have two or three people that are trained and that will mean that they can start making their shelters immediately, more or less, uh, because what they need is the material and uh, uh, if that can be supplied and they are trained and Heritage Foundation has uh, announced that we will be providing training for free for any of this work. Everything we do will be for free and so there are no other costs involved. And the idea is that we spread the whole thing as much as possible because there are hundreds and thousands of people that are shelterless today and they all need, they all need some sort of way to, to protect themselves from rain right now. Uh, and then later on, of course, uh, we can make them all into permanent structures. So any help that you can give at this time, that will be amazing. And that will be so valuable, I cannot even tell you. So thank you so much for your support and for joining us. Now, in the next uh, uh, segment, I will be telling you or showing you how the, uh, the same structure can be converted into a permanent structure.